What's up guys, I'm JK4K and I hope you're having a great day. Now today I want to show you how to solve a very particular problem I'm having with Premiere Pro and that is whenever I hit the space bar it's very slow to start playing back and that's even with my pretty powerful machine. I have like a 9900K which is a processor with 8 physical cores and 16 logical cores. I have 64 gigs of RAM. NVMe drives that do over three gigabytes a second and I have a Vega 64 and just it's just a powerful computer guys so I've clicked play guys and you can see that my CPU is at 15% I have tons of RAM available I have my GPU and everything else are basically doing nothing but for some reason when I hit the space bar it can take two to seven seconds for the actual video to start playing back within Premiere Pro and I'll show you so I'm going to hit the space bar. Wow, that was like how many seconds, guys? So then I'm going to move over here and hit the space bar. That took a while. Now, this is a pretty elaborate project, guys. It's not super crazy, but it does have a lot of cuts and it's around 30 something minutes. And with the video, I have some effects applied, but I'm using proxies. I have the playback at a quarter. I have the global effects off that you can do here. And I've done all the other things, made sure Premiere had plenty of RAM and things like that. So what I noticed, guys, is what really trips up Premiere is whenever I start to apply effects to the audio clips. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll apply some denoiser. I'll apply some graphic equalizer to kind of tune my voice a little bit and the different sounds in the video and then I'll use a hard limiter to get the levels where I really want them to be. But once I apply that to all the clips, that's when the performance really starts to go south in terms of playing back after I hit the space bar. So what I found a good trick to do to resolve this that isn't cumbersome where you're having to deal with, you know, eating up a lot of your time over and over is just highlight all the clips, right click on them and do a render and replace. And you can see how quickly I can go through this entire project to render and replace all this audio for this project. It's maybe going to take a couple minutes or so. But once I do this, guys, you're going to see that the playback is awesome. So you can see here it's starting to render. Let's bring up the task manager for you guys. All right, guys, so you can see that took two to three minutes for all these clips, which is pretty good. I re-enabled the effects and I have the playback resolution set back to full and I'm going to keep proxies on. And you can see that the playback is back to basically being instantaneous. And even if I toggle the proxies, you know, it's still decent. It's a lot better than it was before. So you can see how beneficial it can be to render your sound. So I highly recommend trying that if the playback is really slow for you guys. Now I'm going to have some links down in the description to my computer and things that I use. Also this camera gear. Please like and subscribe and comment down below with any questions you have because I'd love to try to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. <music>